hello friends today i am going to show you how to load update and delete the changes from source to destination okay so before proceeding to this video i have done the same okay uh, using ssis now we are going to achieve the same requirement using merge statement from tick sql okay uh, now let's see the what is the merge syntax so merge so uh, what is the target table target table name okay uh, using source table source source table name close it okay so condition on on which column we need to visit when match then update when not matched then insert when not match by source then delete so, uh, finally you you need have semicolon to execute the syntax this is the syntax okay so using this syntax we are going to up, uh, achieve the same requirement see new query i am pasting that same okay so for this demo i am going to use adventure box 2019 database and coming this uh, employee source and employee destination so in the employee source i am having 290 records in the employee destination i am not having any records and i want to mention that i have added three columns uh, extra inserted date updated date operation so whenever the rows got inserted so i need to know when it got inserted if table is updated so i need to know when it is got updated so the operation by see by seeing the dates or not i can see what could be the latest operation on this okay that if it is inserted it will written as i if it is updated it will written as a u okay now i am copying all this i am removing this one okay select star from employee employee destination so i am copying all this i am pasting here i am running so source so if you see this yeah 290 records and destination is empty right so so what is the destination table uh, in which uh, in this table we need to enter the data okay so i am copying this i am closing all this session i am going to this is the target table okay so i am mentioning as a d okay this is the source table so you this is the comparing we okay so we here we are using basic c so i am mentioning yes okay on logic what is the logic we are using the business entity okay this one okay i'm just copying copy with the headers come down paste it cut it where sorry on business entity is equal to business entity which business entity is there okay source dot t dot so instead of writing all these names i am mentioning it as a d okay so this is the command okay so forget this syntax errors okay once we build the, all the syntax it will go on okay okay so here so when matched so here you need to syntax okay 
so when the data is got matched uh, in the destination so i need to check the syntax so here so what are the columns that are going to update naturally i want to see the marriage status as well oh see uh, we these are all not uh, regularly change job title will change marital status will change height date will not change vacation hours will change so here uh, for demo purpose i am taking as a marital status okay now when matched so not only my with them, uh, when i need to check the conditions if any changes occurs then only i need to update otherwise it is not required okay so for this purpose and okay uh coming this so copy with the others i'm uh, syntax errors i am taking this so and source marial status not equal to destination marial status close the bracket if other commands are there put r here okay uh, other uh, columns you want to comparison then not required then update so here you need to write the update statement update set where i which column i need to update in the destination table so destination table okay so i will write the go to this and uh, take a new query okay so now what i am going to do here this is not required so all this is not required so business entity is not also not required national i want to update only the marital status okay uh, so the, all these columns are not changing okay so this is going to update data so there is no valid so i am putting as a null comma okay so updated date is equal to get date close the bracket comma operation is u inverted comma u okay so i am sorry removing the search commands so d dot source i am removing this okay i am removing the comma so here i am mentioning so d dot okay so i'm copying this uh, i'm coming to this one update so either i mean uh set update so here uh, we don't require to mention the table name why because here we already mentioned that so remove this okay so this update already we have mentioned right set so if match is not it is matched when the data is matched in the source and destination so it is going to check the logic source marital status and destination marital is same same or not if if not same then it is going to update what is the what is it is going to update it is going to update the marital status so of with the source so inserted date is not going to insert there so we have mentioned is a null it's updated to get date comma okay so now when not match we need to insert okay let's go to that uh, in, uh, this is not required right click in this go to scripts insert new query this is all like one time in uh, one time uh, investment like your time so i am reviewing all this not required
okay so here we are inserting into okay he uh, now so what are this this uh, okay i need to copy control h here i need to mention from where source dot okay replace all oh sorry i need to mention this one right paste it control l yes so it is going to update with the source values okay now uh, from values here so what is the source in the in the source table we don't have updated date okay uh, in the operation we it is a like a insert operation so for insert operation i'm going to mention i okay for updated date it is a null for inserted date it's a get date okay so i am this is the command paste it here okay so here i already having i am inserted so i am removing this into so i am removing this table as well insert as well okay it is going to do that Oh, unclosed quotation, right? So not required. Yeah. So then, where it is mapping, insert into okay, and then match then insert. So when not matched by source, then delete. Okay. Um, this is the command that we have written. Okay. In correct syntax. So here, I need to close the syntax. Okay. Yeah. Now uh, I need to close. So double in here to remove this one. Okay. So now everything is good. So now if you see here, match target table name. So I name it as a D for shortcut. So using, so you you need to use this table as a source. Okay, this is the destination. The data has to go from source to destination. So which column am we are mentioning? Uh, I mean you are using. So as that source business entity is equal to destination business entity. Okay, if the data got matched, and it is going to check the condition, is there any change or not? If change is there. Then uh, it is going to update the destination table. So as of now, we have taken only manual status as a changeable column. If there are other columns are there, just mention R and mention those columns in the same format. Okay, I am removing this. Okay, then update. So it, where it is going to up update set destination manual status should be replaced with the source manual status okay inserted date it is update operation so that's the reason i mentioned as a null okay if it is an updated operation 
so I have mentioned with the get date. Its operation is u, right? Then I have mentioned as a u. So, okay. Then if the data is not matched, then it is going to enter the data. So if the data is not matched with the source, then it is going to delete it. Let's see the one by one. So click execute. 20 to the 290 rows got inserted. See, I am removing this one. 290, 290. So now, update hmm. uh, set marial status is equal to d where business entity is equal to 1 I am going to update in the source one row got affected. It means it is going to update in the, uh, if you see here, this is not required. So if you see, if I execute this command, here it will show like one record, okay? Click one row affected. So I am going to see this. Sorry, here I need to See, come down here. Uh, Marial status is D. Marial status is D. Sir, business entity. So, one change got affected. Now, what I am going to do? Okay, I am going to truncate, uh, delete the data. Delete from table where business entity id is equal to 1 one row got affected okay if you see here in the destination i am having one record in the source table i don't have business entity id 1 these kind of records we used to call as r1 okay so i want to sync up with the uh, source so if i get here go to here and click execute so one row got affected. It means the one record has been deleted in the destination. Go and check it. See, one got deleted in the destination. Now we are having 289 records in the source. Now in the destination also we are having 289 records. So this is how we need to sync up with the primary from the source table to destination table in the previous video i have explained you how to achieve this functionality using ssis now i have explained the same using tsql i hope you may like this video thank you